All right, you guys, we're at Derek's house. We're looking at a 70,000 BTU, 80% efficient furnace, looking at getting a little more high efficient. Um, we're also gonna work on the return airdrop, modifying this to fit the new filter. Um, the furnace, we wanna be conscious of moving this away from uh, this wall right here. So we need to slide this over. And I think on purpose, we'll probably be over far enough just because of the, uh, the air cleaner that will be going in between here. Um, but look at putting the shut off and the union on the vertical rise for the gas line and that should give us enough room uh, to move over closer to the water heater uh, we're gonna get rid of this flue piping most likely go high efficient so we'll turn this into a simple T for the water heater and replace that piping as well and then um, modify the supply piping to hit the new coil and furnace and then I'm gonna slide this over so you guys can see the back of this PVC will end up running up. We got a couple of joist spaces. We got this one, this one, and this one here. Um, and then this goes over a shower. It's over probably about three to four feet. Um, probably a total of six before we actually exit the home. Um, but we're gonna look at going through uh, one of these options for it. And then just bring it over to the furnace. Uh, humidifier and filter will be on the back side of the unit. Uh, so we can access both of those. So we'll probably put a uh, humidifier box, extension box, to go on the return. And then uh, the filter will just go down right through here. Condensate drain is also in that other room. Uh, we have a pretty large hose already going through there, but we'll replace that with a, a newer hose. Get that over to the drain. Um, and then line set is actually through, let's see, it goes back. And this is inside drywall. Uh, so we'll look at either flushing or replacing this. I'll put that on the checklist there for that.